Welcome everybody on this episode of Pinch Al's Garage. Today we're going to be working on a 2022 Honda ADV 150. I know it's out of the norm. Uh, it's kind of actually out of my circle of stuff that I do. It's a bike. It's a scooter. It's 150 cc's of pure JDM Fury. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to do a, a transmission modification. Uh, we're gonna actually swap out the clutch and variator. Uh, what this is gonna give me is improve the actual torque response and actual torque in general on here to help me get up to speed a little bit faster. Now, it might change the top speed, it might not, but mostly I did this modification strictly for torque. Uh, this would just generate more torque for me. Um, not actual more torque, but the torque that it already generates is going to be more efficiently um, added. So without further ado, let's get to work because this is PTL's Garage. Now to get access to the transmission, it's actually right over here, right down below. Now uh, there's a couple of screws right here that you got to take off and then it'll actually expose the, the main cover and then you're going to remove that cover and then it'll get to the pulleys. So. Uh, let's get the stuff that we need now from here uh, There's a couple of things you guys want to keep a note. This is your air filter This guy I uh, would probably recommend changing out as often as possible uh, Probably every other oil change. I would probably recommend we're gonna take it off just to show you guys How easy it is to do on this little bike? Again, I am very new to scooters. So please be aware that I am not um I don't know a lot of terminology, but I'm going to be working on it. I'm going to be learning a lot as I go uh, more and more in depth with these guys with this little scooter because I am actually going to be in the market of buying another one. I'm probably going to end up picking up a Yamaha uh, Max or X Max is my next one. Uh, I use this scooter actually to commute around town. Uh, I live in a really small new mountain town called Ramona. Uh, it's here in California and it's really cool. Um, cool little mountain town, not a lot of uh, traffic. So, and the, this area is notorious for motorcycles actually. Uh, we get uh, a lot in motorcycles uh, traffic around here uh, just because we have a lot of cool windy turns out here and a really cool area called Julian that it is famous for pie and it's, and it's apples. So, uh, we're only about 25 minutes away from them, I believe, maybe a little bit more. Um, and again, it's very famous for, for its pie and apples. A little bit longer Phillips for this guy right here. Now again, this is all part of my DIY process. Okay, so there's one more screw down underneath here, which I'll have to get to in a little bit. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see here. So, oh, that's not a 10. I thought that was a 10. Might be an eight. pipe right here in the corner just pop it up comes right off okay now you'll see here I was talking about the there's one and two more Phillips screws right here down below uh, that's just gonna expose your air filter now the reason why I'm doing this because I want to check it because I've been riding this for about a week um, here in Ramona we have a lot of sand and find dirt particles that fly around a lot in our area so I'm very curious on my actual filter condition after riding it for about 100 plus miles. And there's a little bit of dirt buildup in there. 
but nothing crazy serious. A little bit of debris, but no, it's not that bad. It's a pretty cool little uh, system here that they have for the intake box. Um, and it's just a, a layer setup, so not bad. I'm gonna set this aside. So now that's all taken off. Now this is the actual gearbox. Um, you're gonna have a couple uh, bolts pretty much that surround the entire case. And it is an eight millimeter, just so you guys know. And they are different lengths. Ooh, gotta remember that. So, oh, so this one, so we're gonna have to set these aside a little differently because these are definitely different in length. Um, so I'm probably gonna set on one, two, in order, so I don't mix them up. Yep, definitely different. So currently, one, two, three different lengths right now already. Yeah, four, eight bolts right now. Oh, another one right here. Let's see. Going around. Going around. That should be it. Oh, wait, there's one in the middle. Just like that. Put them on cardboard. This is the middle surface. All right, so this is the clutch. Uh, this is the variator and the belt, obviously. Um, now, there's a, a couple of mods online that you can uh, change out for the pulley and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm um, gonna be doing mostly the the variator and the clutch. So we got a new variator with weights, and we got a new clutch coming in. I'm already here. Now we gotta give a big shout out to uh, ScooterSwaps.com. Uh, awesome, awesome group of guys. I hit them up. They didn't have the parts in stock, but they said they were coming in. The moment they came in, they messaged me, and I immediately purchased them online and got them here next day. These guys are in Oregon. Awesome guys. Appreciate it. Put their logo right there, scooterswaps.com. Oh man, they came in hard. Uh, so they gave me a little baggie of uh, stickers, which I'm super gonna put on my scooter. I am stoked. Uh, I'll show you guys later for this. Uh, so we got a Melosi. This is the Melosi clutch. Came with the sticker and something else in the bag. So this is the actual clutch here. Very, very cool, and it's made in Italy. So you know this ish is good. <sighs> Not cheap stuff. <sighs> um, so I'm ex super excited for this. Apparently this, this bad boy just allows you to hold power so much better on the higher RPMs, uh, especially when you change out your variator. Now right over here is uh, the Yum Inashi variator kit. Uh, ooh, it's pretty. It's already billet. So it's got the uh, the variator right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. Um, you guys can see that. And it already comes with the weights. I'm gonna turn it around. Super, super cool. Uh, these are the, I believe, 12 gram. Yep, 12 gram weights, um, sliding weights. This is what they recommend for the for this setup. So we're gonna see pretty much 
how it performs on the road once I get this guy installed. But really, really nice. <laughs> Too bad you can't see them since it's such a nice setup, you know? Let's set these aside. Now we'll get you guys the torque specifications that you need after uh, we take everything apart and then walk you through that as well. Now, there is uh, apparently a couple markings that we need to make note of um, during this process. Um, so we gotta find out, pretty much we gotta set the bike to TDC. So I gotta figure out where that's at. And I don't see any timing marks unless that's the timing mark there. Hoping that's the timing mark there. We'll look it up in a little bit. But we got to set it to TDC. Once it's set to TDC, we pretty much unbolt everything and go from there. Uh, this side is pretty straightforward. You just literally take this bolt off, uh, pop in the new clutch, and you're done. Uh, this side's a little more different. We'll show you guys what to do there. Okay, so it goes nut and washer, just so you guys know. Um, on the clutch side, it's a 19. On the variator side, it's a 22. We pull this guy nice and slow. You guys can see the variator, pretty simple. Big difference in weight, actually. Uh, I don't see by how much, but there is a difference in weight. So there's the old one. Belt comes off, pretty straightforward. Oh. Okay, comes off too. Okay, so the clutch, I still need to remove the this big old nut right here, which I think is a 36 or a 37 millimeter. So I gotta go get a socket for that. I did not know I had that nut, so we're gonna go grab that in a little bit and swap this guy out. But nothing crazy. And then we're gonna actually pull out the variator with the weights right here. Okay. So you guys can see it's got a little push pin right here, the slider, and then the weights are in here. You guys can see that. So I'm gonna match that up with this guy. This is the new one. We pop in this guy just like that and slide this little pin right in here. So that guy's in there now, and then the new one. Just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna pop the belt. Just gonna put it back in here just for the time being. here for right now until I go pick up the uh, the socket that I need just like that All right, we're back. So I got a uh, big old wrench right here. Uh, the, this is actually a 39 millimeter uh, bolt, but it has to be a six point. I, they didn't have any six points. So I ended up using a crescent wrench. So I had my press. I on um, the press, I pushed down on the back, held it down with two wood blocks. That way I don't damage the actual pulley. Was able to take this off. 
uh, had another had my um, uh, father-in-law come in and put the nut on really quick and then I tightened it down call that done new clutch installed uh, next step from here is actually putting in the uh, the actual variator now what you want to do again uh, the variator uh, is face out you got your little uh, little pin here that goes uh, pretty much facing in like this Make sure all your little uh, rollers and everything, our sliders, are pushed in and with the new, with the uh, OEM slider. You're gonna slide that guy in first. All the way, make sure it sits nice and flush towards the back. Now the actual, uh, the other variator, uh, other portion of the variator is gonna be here. Make sure your belt's already in. like that pop in the uh, variator like this pretty straightforward the bell housing washer then nut see on the other side washer then nut Now the catch is here is you're gonna have to figure out how to counter lock um, this guy because you'll be able to hold the wheel here and torque this side down. But this guy, you're gonna have to figure out you need a tool right here to hold this to counter lock or counter hold this nut. Um, I'm only going to torque them down really quick with the uh, with the electric impact gun. This doesn't have a lot of uh, crazy foot pounds. Um, that should do that. And it should be just enough. There we go. Ow! To get that spinning. Um, now that's good. Everything's down. Now you gotta torque these down the specs. I'll be right back and get you that specification really quick. Again, you'll be able to hold this one in place to torque it down, but this guy's gonna end up becoming a problem child. Um, again, you're probably gonna need to find this. There's a tool for this. It looks like it's a for counter locking um, for this guy. So we have to find that and see what I, how what I can do to counter hold that and then. Um, put it all back on and then we'll be done so 55 and 61 foot pounds are your torque specifications for the clutch and the variator once you do that everything else is at 18 foot pounds the screws are hand tight and you're done get this guy up and running and go to give it for a test drive be right back and I'll talk to see you guys okay more. so currently my review right now with the aftermarket uh, variator and the Melosi clutch uh, more than likely it requires a full braking period because um, right now it's slipping a little bit uh, I'm not forcing it like I'm not revving full throttle I'm giving it a little bit of a uh, little bit of throttle not, not again not all the way but I could definitely feel that the the clutch is slipping a little bit more than I would like um, so I'm gonna give it some time I'm gonna drive it a little bit more, uh, use uh, the bike um, at lower RPMs and see what happens over time when I give it some more mileage and give it some more, more time to break in. Um, I definitely feel a lot more torque um, on the lower end, uh, especially going from zero to 30. I mean, it's, this thing goes zero to 30 almost instantaneously. Um, which is very, very impressive in comparison to what it was doing before. Um, so I'm very, very pleased with that portion of it. Uh, now I'm just gonna let it. Like I said I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna ride it, do a little bit more braking. Uh, maybe wait until it goes maybe about another 50 to 100 miles, and then open it up a little bit more and see how it does over time. Um, currently, like I said, current current review, it does go. A lot faster in acceleration the acceleration from 0 to 30 is insanely quicker from stock um, that being said 
it's not that drastic when you actually give it a little bit more throttle than you're used to. Um, from going to zero to say like 10 miles an hour, there's a massive delay uh, where the rotational speed needs to catch up to the clutch. So that might require a better spring uh, in comparison to the stock spring that's in there. So I'm gonna hit up the guys from Scooter Swap and see what they suggest. Because again, I did notice a big difference in rotation, like to give it throttle from stop to actual acceleration. There is a pretty big gap in between that um, in the sense of acceleration. So that's kind of a big downside to me. Uh, comparison to stock with the stock variator, which was, you know, a little gap in between from zero to an actual movement. Um, so I'm hoping that will change with more and more driving um, of the bike, but we'll see. Now, one thing I did notice that was a drastic change, the exhaust note actually changed on the bike. Um, it gave it more of a more, a little bit more aggressive growl. I don't know, it's probably because it's uh, revving a lot faster, um, but it did change my exhaust note and I actually don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Um, it's actually pretty cool. So currently in my current review, it's, it's okay. It's an okay upgrade. I will give it more time and see as time progresses. I'll give you guys a follow up after, you know, about a week of riding and see what happens from there. Um, but again, I'm pretty happy with it currently. I'll see what happens as time goes by. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching this episode of Pinchado's Garage with the Honda ADV 150 2022 model.